Uganda's opposition called on Wednesday for the repatriation of Ugandan troops deployed abroad to reinforce security after a massacre last week at a high school blamed on jihadists left at least 42 people dead. Among the victims, mostly students, the youngest was 12 years old and the oldest was 95 years old. They were killed on Friday night in Pondwe West, a few kilometers from the border with the Democratic Republic of Congo, with Machete's shot or burnt alive. Immediately after the massacre, Ugandan army and police officials incriminated members of the ADF, the Allied Democratic Forces, an Islamist militia that has pledged allegiance to the Islamic State group. On Wednesday, Abdullah Hakiwanukar, an opposition official and minister in a shadow cabinet in charge of internal affairs, said that Uganda's decision to deploy troops abroad, notably in Somalia, as part of an, Af an African Union force to combat the radical Islamist Shibab, had exceeded the country's security capabilities and given the ADF the opportunity to carry out attacks. We are fighting pressure on the we are putting pressure on the government to bring the forces home and strengthen our internal security, he said. A total of 21 people have been arrested, some suspected, by the authorities of being ADF collaborators, while the families are still awaiting the results of DNA tests to identify several of the victims' questions remain as to how the assailants managed to carry out the massacre and escape in the region under heavy military presence. On Sunday, President Yoel Seven described the massacre as a desperate, cowardly act and promised to eliminate those responsible for the bloody assault, the worst of its kind in the country for years. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.